<laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to our uh, little Christmas series uh, where we're teaching you how to play our uh, Christmas song, Don't Tell Me You Don't Like Christmas. Hopefully uh, you're all up to speed now on uh, the rhythm guitar part that Dickon showed you last week. Um, I'll uh, caveat this by pointing out that none of us are professionally qualified teachers, um, <laughs> apart from Ben. Uh, so look forward to that next week. Oh yeah. Um, and so, uh, anyway, it's just a bit of fun, isn't it? But I hope you enjoy this. It's a bit, so, of, a bit of fun. It's a bit of fun. A bit of fun. Well, we hope so, yeah. <laughs> for, it's for us. Hey, I'm going to take you through uh, some of the, uh, the sort of little fiddly lead guitar parts that just uh, sort of provide a bit of ornamentation in the track. We start off in the first verse with um, some classic six. Uh, the uh, most Christmassy of all the intervals. They look and sound a bit like this. And then just finish it off with a nice little D triad there. Mm. 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 That is Christmassy. Then uh, the second verse. Uh, the second verse also uses a lot of triad shapes. So we start here again with a D. And then there's a little fill. B minor. Try and play it better than that, but that basically works us up into the E minor. Let me just show you that again. And then we go to the A. And we're back in my house. Uh, <laughs> uh, we have a D. Um, in the D house. Takes us into the first chorus. We start here on this on this D. Play the little sus four there. Nice, and that goes underneath. Um, so then we uh, move back into the next verse of the song, uh, and there are just some little triady stabs. Nick sort of knocking around there. And then the B minor. Oh, that's the Christmas gift to everyone. Mm. Mm. That little passing chord there into the E minor. And then C caused the a, a bit of um, a bit of uh, debate, didn't it? When we when we It did, yeah. The James Barr was nay so happy yeah, with that. Yeah. But um, let us know if you like it in the comments below. <laughs> okay, great. So then we move into the middle section of the song and uh, the Collinson modulation, as we like to refer to it. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Christmas time. Okay, and that takes us down into the uh, the chorus in the new key, uh, and basically from here to the end of the song, I'm just uh, just, nailing just, it. just nailing it. <laughs> yeah, this is absolutely nailing it. Just yeah, nailing it, it, nailing that G major chord uh, scale, even nailing that G major scale, much like that. Why, why, why is that in the song, Rob? It's in the song, Dickon, because it sounds a lot like Christmas bells. Yes, precisely. <laughs> Um, and then there are a couple of variations in the ending note in those little riffs. Um, but um, yeah, just enjoy sounding like Christmas bells, enjoy getting to know your G major scale, and enjoy working on your alternate picking. Merry Christmas to you and yours, and uh, yeah, see you soon. Bye. Bye, Rob. Bye, Rob.
Hey guys, cheers for checking out the video just now. If you enjoyed that, why don't you click subscribe down here and then you can check out more great Careless Sons footage. So we've got uh, behind the scenes videos over here and our great live videos down here. Alright, well Merry Christmas, I'm going to get back to my plant. Ciao for now.